Hi, and welcome to Prepping Essentials. It's seven o'clock on Saturday, the 25th of July, and a bit of a different intro for you today. If you're wondering why, let's find out. <laughs> Well, here we are down on the land and it's uh, a very bright morning sun's out it's forecast to be uh, a fine day today plenty of sunshine been a weird week weather wise we've had no rain up until last night it was forecast this week but we just didn't get it that's been a bit challenging keeping on top of the watering but as I make my way down I'll keep you updated with progress as we go along through the day. Well, as usual, first things first, I've just opened up the polytunnel. We'll have to keep an eye on this today because uh, there is a bit of a breeze. <clears throat> Not quite sure how it'll fare this morning, but it's open, so we'll see how we get on. Very hot in there. I don't know if you can see the condensation <laughs> uh, running down the inside of the polytunnel. Uh, it's been a warm week this week. Um, outside, this mixed bed of pumpkin and squash uh, continuing to flower. Lots of new ones coming up there and some of the older ones. Lots and lots inside there coming through and little runners making their way off in different directions across the field. Jerusalem artichoke, I don't think they're very happy in this uh, barrel they do get dried out very very quickly and as you can see a bit more sun this week and a bit more sunburn <laughs> on the plants still no sign of flowers either although having said that i'm not quite sure if that's a flower bud opening up or not i guess we'll find out this week let's take a little peek inside the polytunnel Is it me or is that out of focus? I don't know. Um, those pots of onions come on very well. They can definitely go outside uh, today. This uh, blueberry bush, amazing how much new growth that's put on in the space of a, only a couple of weeks. Uh, it does seem to have stopped producing berries though. <laughs> I think I've had my my crop for the year, what it was. Um, peas still hanging in, um, though again on these plants we've had some damage this week. Um, but they are still there, they are still hanging in and they are still producing pea pods. And quite a few of them, as you can see. They are, I might actually pick those today because they look about right. Uh, cucumber still spreading around. I've actually harvested some of these um, during the week. They are still producing though. As you look around there's lots of new ones coming. This other blueberry bush that was absolutely tiny if you remember and now it's put on a staggering amount of growth that's probably going to need repotting and perhaps trimming at some point cranberries have produced berries and are spreading themselves out across the, uh, the polytunnel tomatoes <laughs> getting higher and higher and higher um, millions of flowers on these but still no sign of tomatoes forming I don't know how long I'm going to have to wait for these, or if indeed they will actually produce any fruit or not. Um, <laughs> this watering system, <laughs> if you can see there, it is dripping. It's on timer. Um, but it is still not right, and certainly I need to do something about this for future years. Um, though having said that, I have had a little delivery of uh, connectors that I've been waiting for for ages 
um, so we'll have another go at that at some point during the day. Strawberries doing well, putting on some growth, producing strawberries, so that's nice. These runners that I've been planting out look as if they're really well taking root now. That one's shooting away. Um, there are still a few more new ones I've got to capture. Just want to get more plants. Fig continues to put on new growth. Looking very nice now. So all in all, not too bad inside the polytunnel. Um, outside, this first barrel of potatoes. As you can see, that's died right back now. Um, so we will have a look at that today. Raised beds. <laughs> look at these broccoli. <laughs> In the space of a week, look how many flowers spikes we've got it's just ridiculous <laughs> i have continued to harvest out of these beds uh, i've grabbed the old odd bit of broccoli uh, but it's mainly been cauliflowers as you can see i've got some really nice ones uh, formed pumpkin bed putting out lots of pumpkins now they are pretty much everywhere that you look now and still continuing to flower and still I'm afraid to say now there's a big one down there look that's quite sizable pumpkin that um, something is still digging in here these rabbits which I'm convinced it is I'm sure they're trying to make a little house in there it is absolutely crazy I keep filling it in and they keep digging it up uh, so yeah I'll be filling the holes back in again today I only did it literally what they did I come down I came down Tuesday uh, and filled it in when I watered squash still no sign of flowers in here well having said that I can see some hiding underneath here um, they don't seem to be as vigorous in terms of growth as the pumpkin but I guess that's just the way they are but certainly the more I dig around the more flower heads I'm seeing so I'm guessing we are going to get some fruit out of this at some point uh, finally this last bed mixed bed of carrots and cauliflower and broccoli I think we might be in with a chance finally on one of these tubs because they are starting to die back might have a look at those today and then this last bed of potatoes still haven't seen flowers on this <laughs> although that might be them now just starting to come out there I think that is flowers forming so that's the uh, polytunnel and vegetable garden field itself is looking nice with this grass cut down no chance of doing any of that today because uh, it is wet underfoot and to be fair it doesn't really need it so I'm going to get myself a cup of coffee and then we'll see what we can get done I figured I'd get this done fairly early because this weather just doesn't seem to know what it wants to do today and it looks like it's getting darker and we're going to get some rain on the way uh, this is already a little bit wet, so it might be a bit difficult getting it all out. Uh, but I did say I was going to do it, so let's take a little look and see what we've got. Just get rid of all the foliage first hopefully make life a little bit easier when it comes to tipping it up I can already see that there are potatoes in there <clears throat> clearly you can't but hopefully you will shortly so let's take a little look and see what we've got 
I'll just check you can actually see that on the video. Good job I checked, because you might not be able to. Okay. I've just got myself a little basket to pop these in and see how we get on so there we go so our first few potatoes I'll just start getting these out there's a few very small baby ones in there <laughs> You never know until you start digging around what you're going to get. Might look like there's lots of foliage on the top, but that doesn't mean you're going to get some potatoes. And thankfully, I have. Come in. Apologies for the noise, that's a big tractor going past. Well, we're gradually getting down towards the bottom. But we are still producing potatoes. see it on the video there's a little fly harassing me while I'm doing this I think we're pretty much up now to the bottom yeah I think that is about it I'll tip that back up and have a final rummage around. There's a couple there. It's not the end of the world if I miss the odd one. They can always produce next year. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'll just quickly whisk through this. Make sure I've not missed any in here. I don't think I have. Certainly won't be any sizable ones if there are any in there. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's pop this back in to the barrel. And the big reveal, there we go. That's what came out of that barrel. I can't say it's the biggest crop of potatoes in the world. There's quite a lot of these little baby things in there, which aren't great, but there are some quite sizable ones in there. So, all in all, it is a success because I've got potatoes <laughs> out of a barrel that size. 
I have to confess I would hope that there'd have been more but looking at the number of small ones I mean there must be about 20 maybe more of these little tiny ones so if they had been left in a little bit longer these would obviously have grown into bigger ones but you never know you look at the foliage you take your best guess um, and until it comes to the end of the season you don't know what you're going to end up with but I'm quite happy with those there's a few meals there for me I've got two more barrels to come and who knows I might even try popping some in there and see if they do produce over winter I guess we'll uh, find out in future videos Well, a bit more garden maintenance to be done. I've just taken off the covers for these raised beds and I've also popped a bit of organic fertiliser into that uh, barrel that I took the potatoes out of. So I'm going to have a quick whiz through these beds now, take out stuff that uh, is past its best, <laughs> including these damned broccoli flower spikes. Uh, still got quite a few little cauliflowers kicking around that uh, some of these are ready for taking that's ready for taking for sure um, but I'll whiz through these and I might have a little look at one of those carrot tubs we'll see how we get on Just come down to the uh, composting bins to uh, put these uh, few broccoli in to compost down and uh, you can see the rabbits have been playing in the compost pile <laughs> digging out little burrows <laughs> everywhere um, yeah I think uh, 
we're in need of a bit of a cull of the rabbits because <laughs> uh, they're just everywhere and digging everywhere They just keep coming. Okay, that's the carrots done. I'll uh, get rid of this soil and then I'll show you those in a while. Well, that's cleared a bit of space out. <laughs> it's looking uh, well thinned. I've kept in the broccoli that's uh, still growing. So we've still got broccoli heads forming on these. Um, surprise in there, there's a cabbage. I have no clue how that's ended up in there. I suspect um the broccoli seed packet must have had a stray cabbage seed in because there it is so that's staying in to grow uh, a couple of cauliflowers still kicking around in there and uh, similarly in this bed we've got some cauliflowers still growing and some broccoli still forming uh, so got a bit of space now i might be tempted to put some garlic in um, these beds It'll grow through the winter and uh, maybe even get some by winter, I don't know, we'll see. There's a few bits of beetroot in there. Yeah. I've got those onions in the polytunnel to come out. I'll pop those into there where the, the gap is from that pot of carrots that I've pulled up. Uh, talking about which, let's give you a little show of what we got. So there's the potatoes. And out of that one bucket, <laughs> that's 21 carrots there. <laughs> that's pretty amazing, really. Um, yeah, they're not the uh, largest carrots in the world, I have to say. But they're a decent enough size for eating. And some of the little small ones, there's one or two baby ones in there. I can just wash those and eat them as they are. I've just dropped a bit of uh, <coughs> fertiliser into this space in this bed and I've got these garlic bulbs you can actually see I think maybe they are starting to shoot so I'm just going to get these popped in and uh, hopefully we'll have some I've only really played with garlic in the past, I've not really done it uh, seriously, so I have no clue how well this will work, but these have been sitting for quite some time now, so I am quite hopeful that uh, they will come through.
like everything else it's all trial and error as to whether or not we get any I guess we'll see in due course just pop in a few more cauliflower into the uh, seed trays Let's see if I can get a few more harvested during winter time not quite sure how these will fare because we're quite late into the season now but uh, in the polytunnel in theory anyway we should be okay temperature should be enough I guess we'll find out in due course While we're in the mood for planting, I'm going to pop a few more carrots into this big pot. Again, just trying to get a little bit of succession planting. These are <laughs> really, really fiddly carrot seeds, they're so tiny. But uh, we'll see how we get on. Bit of luck, we'll, uh, we'll get some decent carrots a little bit later in the season. As usual, weather outside has not been kind to me. Um, it's getting darker and darker gradually as you pan around the sky. Rain is definitely on the way. I had a right test in time with uh, these CCTV cameras this week. I'll show you some video clips. Uh, <laughs> the amount of times I've had to come down and reposition uh, both the front and the back ones is unbelievable. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'll get these raised beds tidied back up again. I don't think it's going to be long before I'm away. Uh, certainly before this rain comes. One little job, as there always is, one last job to do. I'm going to take those uh, little pipe fittings that I got and just uh, set up that water irrigation system and see if I can get that working a bit better. Well, I don't know how many times I've done this, <laughs> but uh, that's the old irrigation system, which I've now disconnected. The, uh, it's a very small four mil pipe that feeds the, uh, the sprinkler heads around the polytunnel. And trying to get connections to change from one size pipe to another has proved to be really difficult. But here we go. We've got a four mil to six mil reduce of air to get the irrigation pipe into a larger size pipe that I can find a connector for to get to this 10 mil so I've got a six mil to 10 mil reduce of air which then feeds this pipe which goes into this submersible pump so that simply <laughs> he says drops into the water tank 
just need to make sure it's lying in the bottom nicely which it is I've got plenty of pipe that's one thing I'm not short of is length of pipe and you remember this from previous video this uh, 12 volt switching system on a timer which goes into a 12 volt outlet on the battery box so just give me a minute while I uh, play with programming this and we'll give it a test run and see what happens Well, I'm not sure if you can hear that, I'm guessing you can. Pump is running and the pump is feeding the irrigation system all the way along. Every single one on this side. All the way to the end. Including if you can see that or not, the strawberries. Yeah, you can. And somewhere buried in here. Yep, fig tree. So that's all that side running. This end, blueberry bush. You can see that's running. Peas. All the way along. Cucumber. And all the way along to the end where the cranberries are so that's working fine so all i need to do now is adjust the water heads so that they're all running at the same speed which clearly they aren't at the moment so i'll have a little play with that now and it'll be a job done well that's another day done looks like the farmer's going home as well <laughs> tractor passing by there. Cabin's all locked up, polytunnel's all locked up. Raised beds looking a little bit different since I've cleared those out. But still some vegetables to harvest from there, including of course these two tubs potatoes. Looking forward to those, but I will leave those for a few weeks. Make sure I get some decent sized ones. Uh, but on the subject of veggies, I've got a tray full to take home with me. So, not a bad day's work. And as always, looking forward to the next day down here on the land. Well, that's it for this video. I hope there was something in there that was of interest to you. If you did like the video, please do click on the like button. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. As always, welcome any comments, questions or suggestions you might have. How is it all looking? Now I've cleared out the vegetable garden. Some of it's a little bit bare, but hopefully I'll uh, get some filling plants as we go through the next few weeks. And what about those crows treating my cabin roof like their own uh, hotel in the sun? <laughs> Let me know in the comments section below. But for now, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.